You know those uh, Dr. Rick commercials? Yeah. I forget the insurance company it's for. But yeah, I don't he, know the he, insurance company. I think it's progressive, is it? isn't it? Progressive, yeah. We're so he, funny. Everybody's just uh, acting more and more like their parents mm-hmm. <laughs> and uh, getting excited about all these throw pillows or right. those like uh, signs all over the mm-hmm. house. The one cleaning the garbage cans is so funny. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, but what's he, he doing? Got his he's name. Cleaning the garbage can. Mm. He's got the, the name and, and number address. On it. Yeah, yeah, I know. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, I found myself uh, having one of those moments uh, recently. We were at a place and they had like um, some pens, some free pens. Like, oh, take one of our pens. Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, those are nice. I saw them. I go, oh, mm. those are nice pens. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, what a oh, great pen. Very nice yeah. pen. <laughs> I looked at it. I go, oh, because mm. it wasn't like a typical, like you could tell, like cheapy pen. Sure. Wow. It's a pretty decent free yeah. pen. I'm Look like, at this pen. solid pen. And I not only did I pick it up. Like oh mm-hmm. I because th- uh, I thought to myself oh it's a nice pen yeah I picked it up and I go hey babe look at this pen oh <laughs> and showed yeah. it off and she goes okay and I go this is a nice pen I'm just giving them out <laughs> and she's like it's okay a free pen. <laughs> <laughs> what are you not getting <laughs> it was a total Doctor Rick excited. situation mm. totally you ever sign a oh, check at a would... restaurant and think wow this is a good pen yeah. He would oh. have an like it had, for that. But, you know, it, it, it wasn't, like, all plastic. It had a little heft to it. Yeah. It had, like, a, hey. like uh-huh. the, 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 the tip that screws onto the end, like, where mm-hmm. the, the pen actually comes out. It was, like, metal. Yeah. It was wow. nice. And cool. did it right well. It does. Yeah. Excellent. I'm with you. I get excited when I'm in a hotel room, and, you know, they always have a pen in there. <laughs> yeah. And when it's a good pen, you're like, oh, this is a nice one. Oh, yeah. hotels are the worst pens. Yeah. No, I, yeah. I forget the, uh, the hotel chain, but every time I'm there, I know what they look like. Has a uh, silver tip on either end, on the pointy end mm-hmm. and on the clicking end. Ooh, but then yeah. it's like a uh, like a soft gray plastic. Oh, like, um, okay. uh, but they're wider, they're like the wider pens, not those mm. real thin pens. Yeah, yeah. So like, I always take those. No, I like the re- it's like really thin metal pen. I forget really what uh, yeah hotel chain has it. Has those? Oh, that's, that's probably what it is then. I'm like, well, this. This is a fine pen. <laughs> and Look, I felt I'm, I'm super like, happy for you and your free pen. It was like 100 years old. I can one-up you on the pen thing. I've gotten to a restaurant where I love the pen when signing the bill, and I wrote down the brand of the pen so I could go get one. Because <laughs> 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 I don't want to steal their pen. Wow. Well, that's nice of you. Yeah. Like, okay, I'll never remember this brand, and I need to know the, like whatever they give it, some number, and I have to write down the everything. Yeah. Hold on, I'm not done yet. I'm writing down your pen. Oh, and then the other thing I got uh, just overly excited about was, I mean, I've had a power washer for 13 years. What's not to be excited about? Like a Troy built one. It's, yeah, it's been great, awesome, gas-powered, 3,200 PSI. I mean, it's it's a fine power washer. Nice. And uh, I went to go fire it up mm-hmm. a couple weeks ago, and it just wouldn't start. Oh, no. Yeah. Now, of course, I can mm-hmm. have it repaired. I'm sure it's just like a clogged fuel line or, you know, something easy yeah. like that. Maybe but needs why to sparky. Yeah. yeah, just roll you know? it off a cliff. Yeah, I'm like, well, you know what? I've had this thing for 13 years. Uh, maybe it's just time for a new one because yeah. I didn't want to wait. I wanted the power wash that day. Sure. And so, uh, man, was I like geeked up. I did a little research, research before I left the house, and I got geeked up to go to Home Depot. Rip. And, uh, and get a new power washer. Oh, yeah. Nice. Didn't find exactly what I wanted there. Went over to Lowe's, which, you know, Home yeah. Depot is my usual go-to. But went over to Lowe's, and I oh. found this one. I told Greg about it. It's, a, it's an electric one, which right. I've always mm-hmm. steered away from. But they've really come a long way with the electric technology for <laughs> uh, for lawn stuff. They yeah. have, like, full-on riding lawnmowers now that are All electric. that are electric powered. Nice. Um, and so you, you could definitely get, and this is a 32 Hundred PSI nice. electric power washer, wow. boing, and yeah. So not only was I psyched to be there and to pick it out and to bring it home and to assemble it, oh yeah. But man, I was doing the <laughs> power washing like and I was so happy. Ooh, right? It brought me all this joy, and I thought, how lame. Mm. It's pretty lame. I was judging myself. Yet really, I mean, it was great because like, you know, you know it's lame, uh-huh. but at the same time, I mean, you like that stuff, so yeah, I love it. Good for you. Yeah, and so whenever you um. Whenever you break out the power washer, you have whatever it is that you're looking to power wash, and then you notice every other thing that you could possibly power wash, oh, and yeah. it's just a slippery oh, yeah. slope. Literally. Yeah. <laughs> Are you a Lowe's guy now? Because, you know, I don't mind Home Depot, but it's all about Lowe's. Really? All day, yeah. Yeah, all I don't day. know. I find myself more comfortable at the Home Depot. 
<laughs> I, feel more, I feel more at home at the Home Depot yeah. I do, yeah. than I do Lowe's. I don't Home mind Depot. Lowe's, obviously. I'm, you know, that's where I got the uh, the fantastic power washer. Uh huh. But no, uh, it's my go-to. Yeah, I mean, do you guys find yourself getting excited about the lamest stuff? Well, like that's a, that's course. adulting stuff for sure. Speaking I mean, of power washers, there's this, there's a like a local service in my neighborhood that goes around and cleans things, and this guy had a literally like a custom tricycle built with a power washer uh, on the back, <laughs> and I stopped Whoa. him like, wait, is it? Is that custom built? Where can, can, I, can I buy one of those? Yeah. <laughs> so I like stopped, took photos of it. Got like the nice. Nice. Well, yeah, like one of those like you know, yeah. kind of like rickshaw sort yeah. of bicycle things. Uh-huh. Uh, you know, the, the three cool. wheels. Was it custom? Oh yeah, he's like, oh, oh, yeah, it's, it's got to be a custom yeah. job. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah. Well, but if, I, but if I could get because it's yeah. so, uh, a power washer, you yeah. don't mind me asking. Uh, it's a model right. number. Will that run you? Yeah. 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 Do you have any blueprints? Well, that, how much that put you back? Because yeah. your power washer, your power washer, Woody probably had. You probably have to hook the hose up to it, right? There's no tank. See, I want one that's totally portable with a built-in tank, oh, but those okay. become bulky. But this yeah. was all in one piece on this Whoa, tricycle. Yeah, like, dude, that's awesome. have like, uh, like mobile car washing services. Yeah, exactly. They'll do that. They have like a tank in the back of the van. Mm. I love power Use. washing, but it is a pain in the ass hooking it up. To the, like, the hose. Listen, and then the you got to take the other one and find the nearest outlet, and then you have the, the long extension cord. Right. It's just cumbersome. Really? It is. Huh. It's cumbersome. Two connections. It's worth it, but cumbersome. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely <laughs> worth it. Yeah. Okay, because then you got, is the hose getting kinked? Is the line getting kinked? Are yeah, they pulling annoying. out? That's annoying. First of all, pulling out. Ravi, any uh, I mean, over-the-top, like, lame adulting thing that you find yourself getting I excited th- about? I think probably I've <laughs> been deeply considering Putting my uh, bed sheets on the same schedule as my towels because I wash my towels twice a week. <laughs> and, but I love clean sheets so much. Yeah. I'm thinking like once a week just isn't enough. Like I get so oh. much joy out of clean sheets. Yeah. That it's time right. like in the middle of the week to strip it. Why don't you get another set uh-huh. of sheets and just rotate? I could do that, or just wash them and put but them. But she back does on. love washing sheets. I don't mind washing. She does laundry 18 times a day. She do, does. Do you poop more or do laundry more? Oh, true. Yeah. Laundry more. No. Wow! <laughs> no, I do That's a like lot. I do laundry probably four times a week. Wow, it's a lot. Is but I don't mind laundry. You do little batches, and that way it's not a big chore. You are Greg. always doing laundry. <laughs> Greg. Uh, Tech says they got excited about getting some uh, inserts for their shoes. Ooh, <laughs> for their foot pain. Nice. Well, I yeah. mean, what they were in pain. Was that right? planters, <laughs> plantars, fasciitis, fasciitis? Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Fasciitis. Yeah. It's like, oh, rip. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Even though I, I'm mostly not yeah. using it, the cookware stuff I get pretty excited about. Oh, yeah. Menace is going on and on about that cookware for a while. Right. Yeah. yeah, Greg, too. He looks at it. Yeah. Love that cookware. He looks at his wife using it. <laughs> X-Clad. Yeah. Is that, is that X-Clad, what it was? Yeah. X-Clad. It's like Best. miracle cookware. Yeah. So awesome. So easy to clean. It rules. I can yeah. only imagine the stuff. I mean, everything that Sammy talks about half the time. Like, she was... <laughs> what was that... Uh, I'm super lame. What was that account that you said that you were following... Like oh, some, somebody uh, they were watching Seventh Heaven episodes yeah. and breaking Heart it down. Heartthrob Anderson on Instagram. Yeah. He t- <laughs> he goes back and watches 90s movies and TV shows and then kind of summarizes them but makes fun of them. And yeah. a lot of them are Seventh Heaven episodes. And I love it. I loved Seventh Heaven. That was one of my favorite shows. I watched it all the time. Yeah. And the dad was a molester, allegedly. Well, oh, yeah. Wow. So you don't really wow, see Sammy. it much it anywhere. Didn't, it didn't more. end well. Wow. But like, what, what lame, like, adulting thing? Like, what's your Dr. Rick Right. Uh, is I discovered cleaning with a pumice stone. Have you ever done that? Is that for- <laughs> It's incredible. A toilet? Yes, yeah. you can do it yes. in a toilet. Recently. That's what I- It's a miracle. I know. That's what I initially got it for. And then I found myself, you know, because you can clean grime in the bathtub, in the kitchen sink, rust off of metal. It's, it's incredible. incredible. It is. And mm-hmm. so once I discovered that, I thought, well, what can a pumice stone not do? So I looked up more things <laughs> and I can get peeling off of my sweaters and other clothes with it. And it's just been an incredible find. I highly recommend it to anybody. <laughs> it's your scrub daddy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was you something. On that. I saw so this, the, this station sucks so bad that I actually went out and bought scrub daddy for everything yeah. around oh, here. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I was like, yeah. Oh, I couldn't believe. So that's you because I saw him by the sink. And I was like, I can't believe that they sprung for scrub daddy. No, they didn't. I did it myself. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, <laughs> right. thank you. buy these lame, you know, crappy yes. little sponges. Yeah. I was like, no, no. We, that will not do around here. We're wow. getting scrub daddy. Wow, thank you, CBS. I saw a TV commercial the other day, <laughs> and I kind of like uh, Greg, I, you know, mm-hmm. I the, the pen, he wrote mm-hmm. down what it is so I can, like, look it up later. Yeah. I'm like, wow, that's cool. I have nothing that I need it for, but I want it. I just want to see how it works. The stuff where you mix like the two like epoxies, whatever, and you can like use it as a weld. It'll replace like a broken weld. 
Huh. Like, ah, if, like if you have that. something that's like you know that came off of like I don't know, like a metal gate yeah. or something. Yeah, or gate or chair or something like that. You mix this two this stuff together. You kind of put it on. I think it's called JB Weld. Okay, oh, that's been around for a long time. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, wow, that's cool. I want to try that. <laughs> Break something like just you so you can use it. <laughs> yeah, you, you can't tell me the first time you saw Flex Seal and he was like making a boat out of a screen door I that know. you were yeah. tempted. I recently used Flex Seal. Yeah, so I said, How'd I'm really go? excited right now. Well, I got well. a new nose hair trimmer that I got, and I <laughs> do wow. it on my way to work. Those are no. badass. Nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You get excited about dumb stuff. Uh, let's go to David here on line number one. Hey, good morning, Hello, David. Hello, David. David. Morning. Good morning. All right. So uh, what kind of Hello. lame adulting thing are you getting excited about? So it was the first time we bought, like, a really good mattress. Yep. And we were, like, super excited to invest into that. And you're just like, wow, this is lame that I'm excited to buy a mattress. Yeah. But how great Very was exciting. it, like, when you got it? Now, what, would, what did you have before? Was it a king size or were you upgrading to a king size? Uh, it was a king size, but we upgraded it to a purple mattress, which okay. I highly recommend to everybody. Ooh. Yeah. Mm. See, the really big exciting stuff is when you go from, like, the queen to the king, and you're like, whoa, I have so much room. <laughs> Look, we can, like, spread out. Like, everybody has their own zip code. It's great. <laughs> yeah, and you get super I definitely excited. definitely agree with that. But, yeah, but you, when you spend, like, $2,000 in a mattress for the first time as an adult, you're like, oh, that's a good investment. Yeah, right. Uh, yeah. It is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you tell your younger self, like, how much yeah. you're going to spend on a mattress at right. some point in your life. You'd be like, yeah, and yeah right. Like, okay, I don't need that. That's when you're sleeping on futons and stuff. David, thank you for the call. Appreciate you listening. Thank you. Bye. 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 Dude, if I could combine both those things, yeah. I was recently pretty jazzed. <laughs> 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 then I, 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 finally, I went out and got like the little portable rug doctor and, uh -huh. and washed my mattress. Really? I had, oh, to, really? I had to get rid of that diarrhea All stain. That. Oh, oh, yeah. That's oh, that's nice. Best poop but then bed. I looked at it, I was like, man, that's clean. I forgot that you, uh, <laughs> you crapped the bed. Yeah. I, was, I, I, I meant to ask you about that at the time. Do you have... Like when you buy a mattress, they'll suggest that you get the mattress cover to protect the actual mattress. Yeah. So it goes, <laughs> it goes under your fitted sheet, right? Yeah. And a lot of times, like you have to buy that and put it the on the mattress for the warranty. Yeah. Yeah. And, like you're ever gonna call it on the warranty, right? right. What, 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 but unless a spring in crams me in the yeah, back. but like in that uh -huh. moment, I go who could? And I, uh, I, I buy know. it, and it's on there, and it does keep it nice and fresh, as if I'm gonna try to resell it, and I want to keep it in I pristine know. condition. Like who cares? Like the way you take care of your car, but. Did you did you have a mattress? No, I'm not gonna okay. deal with that. I just I peroxided it and bleached the hell out of it. <laughs> See, that would have oh. come in handy with all that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, with he all was that sick. What you crap the bed twice? But I'm the same way. Mm. The first time I bought my adult mattress, the cover will protect the warranty. Oh, okay, I'll do it. <laughs> all right. <laughs> yeah. No. Some I, stupid like dude, zip up thing. Keep it real. I bought a Casper. Absolutely hate it. <gasps> really? And I got a Serta from Walmart. Love it. Huh. And it's like a quarter of the price. Somebody says, so I feel better. so lame. My interest got peaked, and now I'm looking up pumice stones. Oh. <laughs> Do it. Miracle See? stone. Apparently. Yeah. They rule. <laughs> Change your life. I bought a pair of shoes because of how comfortable they were, not for looks. I've never felt mm. more 40 in my life. <laughs> Makes sense. More 40. That's awesome. <laughs>